Now an important calculation is the mixing time. So for 6 plus turbine we have seen Qt can be represented as some constant times n dA cube over dt over dA. As a thumb rule mixing is considered to be complete when the liquid goes through the impeller 5 times. Again the mixing time when it indicates that the mixing has been complete that's defined as when the fluid passes through the impeller five times. If the total volume of fluid in the vessel is V and the flow through the impeller is QT, so V over QT will indicate the time required for the fluid to go through the impeller one time and if we multiply it by five so that will give the mixing time. Now we know that the volume of the liquid is given by pi over 4 dt square h we multiplied by this. So we get after simple reformulation in tt time dA over dt squared over dt time h it becomes a constant. So now if we compare two geometrically similar set meaning that dA over dt if they are constant and dt over h they are constant for those cases n t t will also be constant. So this relation of n t t so for a given tank and impeller or geometrically similar systems the Mixing time is inversely proportional to the stirrer speed provided that Reynolds number is large. Mixing time, time is constant at high Reynolds number and mixing time is appreciably greater when Reynolds number is between 10 and 1000. Now experimental value of the relation between NTT and Reynolds number is found in the literature. So here this should be Reynolds number and this should be NTT. So if you know the Reynolds number you can find NTT and from there you can find the mixing time.